okay this is the fun part uh, now you're going to find the inverse of a function so there are these essentially four steps rewrite the function so if the function starts out is in f of x is equal to rewrite it as y is equal to so right down here we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. We're going to rewrite that as y is equal to 2x plus 3. All right? Whoops. Then the second step, swap the x's and the y's, not the signs. So if there's a negative sign anywhere, don't worry about that. You're just swapping the x's and y. So there's a y, so I'm going to put an x in its place. There is 2x, so I'm now going to put 2y plus 3. Now, solve for y. So remember, uh, order of ops, you do it in reverse when you have variables. So instead of starting with multiplication, you have to get rid of the, oops, the addition part. So the inverse of adding 3 is subtracting 3. So now we have x subtract 3 is equal to 2y, and the inverse of multiplying is dividing. And remember, when you divide, aside you divide everything so now we have y is equal to x subtract 3 over 2 and fine so we solve that finally rewrite an in inverse notation and here is the inverse notation so we would rewrite that as f with that superscript it's not really a negative one exponent it's just this it looks like a negative one exponent but that's not what it's intended to be uh, is equal to x subtract 3 over 2. It could be writ rewritten like this. They mean the same thing. 1 half x minus 3 halves. This one is easier to graph because you automatically know you're going to start at negative 3 halves, which is negative 1 and a half, and you're going to go up 1 over 2. So those are the steps. So here's another example right here. We're going to rewrite that. y equals 3x cubed minus 5. Then x, we're going to swap the x's and y's. Then we're going to solve for y. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. So now we have x plus 5 is equal to 3y cubed. Before we can do exponents, we need to divide everything. So we're going to divide both sides. Now the inverse of cubing something is taking the cube root. And when we do that, we have to take the cube root of everything. So now we have y is equal to the cube root of x plus 5 over 3. And then just rewrite that. f negative 1 x is equal to the cube root x plus 5 over 3. Voila! And let's see. So what you're going to be doing today is you're going to be doing uh, some sampling of this. So here are some linear equations and you'll do the inverses. Then you're going to have some polynomial uh, or uh, roots or, or um, exponent exponential functions and then you're going to have rational functions and functions and find their inverses that's it